Sometimes a child will not attempt a word and appeal to the teacher either by looking at the teacher for help or asking, what's that word? Or, I don't know that word. When a child appeals for help, you say, you try it, to give the student an opportunity to give a word a go. Sometimes a child is simply afraid to take the risk and the simple, you try it, prompt will give them a boost. If the child tries the word and gets it, it is not an error. However, if the child appeals and after the, after the prompt, you try it, says an incorrect word, it is counted as an error. Fixing errors is excellent reading behavior. If a child corrects an error, it is recorded with the capital SC above the line, a self-correction is not an error. The two examples shown show that the first one says the child says where, when, were, that would be recorded as a self-correction, and the second one the child says how, who, and self-corrects. Let's practice recording appeals and self-corrections on section 7. Ready? Let's go. The wheat grew tall and it What's that word? Ripened. Oh. How I mean, who will help me cut the wheat? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said, quacked the duck. Not I, barked the dog. Not me, I, meowed the cat. Not I, grunted the pig. Here's what your running record should look like. You'll notice that the child was attempting the word ripened by sounding it out, appealed by asking what is that word, and the teacher told the word. The other three, the child said had a substitution, but corrected it before they went on. The appeal and the told is an error. The self-corrections are not errors. Another positive reading behavior is repetition. Readers repeat for a variety of reasons. They may be monitoring their reading by confirming or discounting what they have just read. They may be searching for a cueing system to help them solve the word. They may be repeating to self-correct. By noting repetitions, it provides insight into how much sorting out the child is doing while reading. Sometimes a child will repeat only a word and sometimes a child will repeat a phrase. It is important to know how much a child repeated and if the child repeated a word or phrase more than once. To record repetitions, write an R and an arrow back to where the repetition started. If the child repeated a word or a phrase more than once, write a subscript number for the number of times they repeated by the R. If you have a different way of recording repetitions, that is okay go ahead and continue to use your coding preference. Repetitions look like this in a running record. The first one, the word was repeated twice. In the second one, a phrase was repeated. You'll notice an R is drawn with an arrow going all the way back to the word where they started the repeat. Let's practice on sections 8, 9a, and 9b. 
Here we go with section 8. Then, then, then I will do it myself, said the little red hen. And she, she did. The repetitions are recorded in this way. While repetitions are not counted as errors, they do give you some insight as to how the child is processing. For example, when the child was saying then several times, they could have been searching for cues or confirming what they just said to keep going. Let's do some more repetition on section 9a. Ready? Here we go. Now the wheat was ready to go to the mill. Who will help who will help me take the wheat to the mill? asked the little red hen. It was one repetition, and it was of a phrase in this case. And one more, section 9b. Here we go. Not I quacked the duck. Not I barked the dog. Not I barked the dog. Not I meowed the cat. Not I, grunted the pig. Then I will do it myself, said the... Then I will do it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Did you get tricked by the repeating of not I, barked the dog? Sometimes that happens. You just have to keep up as best you can. And remember, what we're looking for is to think about why is the child repeating? What type of reading behavior are they using to repeat? And it gives us indication of good strategies that students are using. Sometimes a child will self-correct as they reread. To record the self-correction, connect the vertical line to the repeat line to indicate that they self-corrected on the repeat. Sometimes a child will only self-correct one error on the repeat. Be sure to indicate which word was self-corrected and that it was on the repeat. If this happens, as in the example above, it is counted as one self-correct and one error. It is important to note if the self-correction was made on the repeat because it gives us insight into the child's processing. So in this case, the child said a house and then repeated back, fixed the, but still said home. You'll notice that on the handwritten example, the line that for the error A in the, the vertical line, connects to the repeat line, telling me as the teacher that this child repeated that correction on the repeat. Repeating to monitor their reading is a really important behavior. It's important to note. So are you ready to put it all together? We will do sections 10a and 10b all together without stopping. Are you ready? We're going to go all the way to the end. Here we go. When she got home with the flower, she asked, Who will help me make the 
bread. Not I quacked the duck. Not I baked the dog. Not I What's that word? You try it. Meowed the cat. Not I grunted the pig. Then I will do it myself, said the little red hen, and she did. The bread was ready to bake. Who will help me bake the bread? asked the little red hen. Not I quacked, quacked the duck. Not I barked the dog. Not he I meowed the cat, not I, not I meowed the cat, not I grunted the pig, then I will do it by myself, said the little red hen, and she did. When the bread was baked, cooked, she took it from the oven. She put it on the table to cool. Cool. If you need to pause to go back and make sure you have everything recorded. Pause, and when you're ready, turn the, the podcast back on. Here's what the running record looks like. For this first section, you'll notice that there was a substitution, baked for barked, and an appeal with a told. Both of those are errors. In the next section, there was a substitution, do for make. That is an error. In the next section, there was an omission of the word soon. That is an error. Repeat the word quacked, a self-correction, and a repeat. But you'll notice that the self-correction did not happen on the repeat. The child self-corrected before repeating. That repetition, most likely, the child was confirming what they had just read or might have been searching for a cue because the next word was grunted. In the next section, there was an insertion of by, and then there was baked for cooked, but it was self-corrected. The next one is kind of tricky because the child said from for the word out, but omitted the word of. And finally, child repeated the last word, cool. Now you know how to record a running record. As with anything, this is a skill in which practice makes perfect. Start simple and choose one student with whom you can practice. If you have questions about any of the coding, please contact your instructor or your instructional coach for clarifications. The coding is just the beginning and the future modules will learn how to score and most importantly, Analyze the running record so it can inform your instruction. Have fun practicing!